Next topic, Denny Hamlin versus Ross Chastain as Chastain wrecks Hamlin and then Hamlin costs Chastain valuable time on track multiple times. TJ, spot on, spot off. This isn't the first time this year. Um, I mean, I'm spot off for for Ross. I think he mentioned himself just continuously making these moves to do this stuff. It's eventually going to bite you at some point, and I don't think it's bit him yet. I think a guy slowed him up a little bit, but you got you got what? What's he got? Two wins. Two, got two wins, wins. Two wins. Yeah. Like this is the time to make friends and be quiet. You're just you're just going to knock out them top fives. If a win pops up, you get another one. Great. These are you don't. Now's not the time to make the enemies. Now's the time to build as many friendships as you can going into the playoffs because you want to be on good terms because. Denny Hamlin goes, has some bad luck in the first round of the playoffs, gets knocked out. His meter is going to be pegged that he does not give a um he, he's just that you don't want that right now. There's just you're just creating really bad luck for yourself down the road at some point. So, you know, spot off for for Ross doing that. I don't I don't feel like it's over. I am spot on for Ross saying it was terrible driving on his part and that he uh, shouldn't be in the car if he's going to do that. Was way off on my driving today, is what he said. Um, he wasn't only off on his driving one time. He was off on his driving three times. Four times. Four times. So. Four. So what I'm, I'm, I'm spot on for that. I'm spot off for his car owner, Justin Marks, after the race, when Denny basically tweeted how frustrated he was. Justin Marks was like, honestly, I don't think Ross Chastain did anything wrong. Denny Hamlin can bring it on. That's kind of what he said on the social media. So I look at these guys, and I'm like, man, spot on for what Ross said, spot off for what his car owner is saying. Keep yourself out of this, in my opinion. But what I'm most spot off for is Ross got punked after he wrecked Denny. Like, he put him in a wall, and then he let Denny just keep messing with him. Why don't you wreck him again? Get him out of the way. Send another message, because he made you look like a punk after you wrecked him. He slowed you down, and I don't have SMT like all you guys do, but it looked like he slowed him down to about 47 miles an hour off of turn two in the middle of a green flag run, and Ross just sat there and took it. Why didn't you spin him out and keep going and run your race? Now, Ross ended up with a pretty good finish, but I just thought he looked I thought he looked punked. Yeah, I mean, the the – it looked to me yesterday like the Ross Chastain don't give a <laughs> tour made a stop in St. Louis. And that was <laughs> a good way to look at it. That was he. I mean, he flat out wrecked Denny. Like that was brutal. Like he, I mean, it looked to me like they were getting frustrated uh, racing it. around each other. I he just it. wrecked Denny, like run him over and went on to one or two. Uh, Chase I don't think he meant for it to be that bad, but it did. Yeah. Being that bad. Chase Elliott, he just, you know, kind of put himself in a spot where he didn't need to be, turned Chase around off of four. He launched Logano into three, bottom of three wide, just ran him over, launched him in there. Did the same thing to the 34 late in the race, just got on his bumper into Ooh, three. And you don't want to mess with him. Launched McDowell. him in there. So now Why you've is got, that? McDowell will wreck your ass. <laughs> you've got as three as guys. Put him on a hood. <laughs> you guys, you've got three guys there, the 11, 9, 22, that you're going to be racing against in the playoffs. And then you've got a guy that's not going to – I mean, essentially, he may make the playoffs with a win somewhere, but right now he's not a playoff team. Um, so, I mean, these are the guys, like you said, are these the guys you really want to mess with and, at this and don't point? don't forget about A.J. Amendinger, who you wrecked to win Coda. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's yeah. – I mean, like These are said, guys that when they get to you, they're going to be tough in the playoffs. Some of them are going to be very – can go make deep runs in the playoffs. These are the guys right now that when they catch you, you're already ahead of them. You got two wins. When they catch you, it's the race again. You know they're – They'll just remember. go, just go. I mean, this is where you build that friendship. Yeah, I don't. So we're not where I get like Denny, of course, said that they're not even, you know, which well, it wouldn't matter what Denny says. You're going to say Denny. Well, no, but, but, but here's my point. Like <laughs> he, he's yeah, I mean, we're going to have a hard time here because he said he's going to get them. You know, he said, you know, made comments about the only way to get this message to these guys is put them in the wall hard. Um, and what do we say on here all the time? If they say they're going to do it, chances are they're not. So we'll see if he can prove that theory wrong. But, you know, going I, back. I think he proves it wrong. Going, He might. I mean, it's, it's very possible. There, I, there's very possible. Good possibility any of them guys yesterday could prove that theory wrong. So if we get to the last, we get to Phoenix. Write this down, Jason. If Denny doesn't ever do anything, we have to. We have to. You, well, uh, you guys uh, be ready to handle this then. <laughs> Are you surprised the, the, NASCAR didn't do anything besides so say NAS- three times that you should stop doing it? <clears throat> they well, said they only something. said it once. Yeah. Um, but but I don't know where I stand on that because it's like you know something wrong is going on, but you're going to let it go or at least make the comment that you're going to let it go once. 
And they told him, you know, all right, Danny, you made your point, which who are they to say that he's made his point? Like <laughs> he just got wrecked. You know, his, yeah. his car's wrecked. And I now, don't feel like he felt like he made his point. No, yet. and I think he's it, it expressed that on the radio <laughs> when they told him that you've done that. Because I think Lambert relayed the message of, all right, they said you've made your point. And he said, ha, no, no, I have not made my point yet. Like <laughs> I was like a kid <laughs> on the morning of Christmas. Every time they called each other, I was like, I all right, here he comes again. I can't I wait. So <laughs> do you think that NASCAR should have not even made the comment and just let them go in, Freddie? I, I, yes. I, I don't know if you. If, listen, if you're going to turn a blind eye to it, then turn a blind eye to it and ignore it. Because all you've done now is put out there in the world that you're watching this happen and you're okay with it. Like, okay. Like, we saw him run them all over the place, obviously, the first time. And NASCAR saw it because they said, you've made your point. And then what he proceeded to do was run him all over the place every other time he passed him. And NASCAR still didn't do a thing about it. It really pissed me off but, because we're, I can't, we already can't see a quarter of the racetrack. And now I got to watch him. Now I got to watch you and my car. So and what was going to be really interesting, <laughs> and I wish that, I don't know if Danny knew this or not, or, but after the nine put the one on the wall, first of all, the nine sends the one up the hill. And I thought it was Denny. Because it was, they were both in the back, and I just assumed I saw the one take off because it was like right behind me, so it was still in my peripheral, and I I saw him go up the hill, and I just assumed it was Denny. So I look back to like look find where Denny's at, and it's not Denny. It was the nine, and all of a sudden, because we can't see him, Denny comes out from behind one of these stages and just dry, like sideswipes the one on the way by. Like, it was like a triple threat <laughs> match at WWE. <laughs> But so that's what he gets in front of him. Now he's got damage from the chase wreck. So he's on the DVP clock and Denny's blocking him. And if Ch Ross had one more lap, if, if Denny held him up for one more lap, Ross is out of the race because he can't make minimum speed behind the 11. He, this that, is when I'm talking about Ross dude, being punked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If he imagine if he actually accomplished that. Uh, could you imagine? No. Like, <laughs> Like, that like, would have been the funniest would, thing in the history of the sport. So w would NASCAR give him another lap because he didn't no, get the No, they better not. Yeah, they no, better not. not. They parked me last week for it. Yeah. You have three laps to make minimum speed. You don't do it. You're you don't do it. You better, you better be on the trailer like we were. Yeah. So, you know, I, I was I was praying. He I could just have wanted to see that pedal. situation. I was literally on Channel 2 talking to Chris Rice going, they, they, they're not at minimum speed out here. They got to park them. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, this was the best thing to happen all Listen, weekend. For, for, for me, the thing that I don't – like this whole deal I thought was, you know, Ross wrecked Danny. Danny, like messing with Ross the rest of the day makes it like miserable. <laughs> but – when when Justin Marks comes out and says my guy did nothing wrong, his view must have been worse than ours. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but like I know we couldn't see he really couldn't see if that's the case because oh. I mean, he literally wrecked Denny, flat out wrecked Denny, turned the 9, ran over the 22 in a three wide situation, ran over the 34, almost wrecked him. Like listen, he was and Ross for, for Ross to get out of the car and go, I drove like a today. And then the car and I go, ah, he did nothing wrong. It's fine. Like, I don't, I don't buy that. He's got his guys back. I get yeah, that and part. I get that. But here's where we talk about this with uh, Ty Gibbs earlier in the year. You say can't wait. You respond to Denny's tweet that says, uh, you know, Denny's comments that say you're going to wreck Ross. And you respond can't wait. Are you really saying you can't wait? Because this is what's going to happen when somebody, I mean, somebody, whether it's Denny, whether it's these guys, whether it's AJ, Ross has pissed off a lot of people. At some point, somebody is going to pay Ross back. Are you really going to sit there and go, it's okay, that's fine, it's, it's good hard all, racing? What if they all just have enough of it and just do it in like three or four consecutive races? <laughs> yeah. I mean, in, 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 he the can't playoffs, wait. in the playoffs. He can't wait for it. They said it well, yesterday. I think, uh, I think Justin Marks is a – Awesome dude, a great. He's done a lot for the sport here. Well, he's done a an, lot. He's as listen, an owner. He's done more in a short amount of time than anybody oh, in a lot of cars I've ever seen. I mean, you look at Michael Waltrip Racing. They come in and struggle to get up and running. Red Bull, yeah. sixty million dollar budget, struggle to get up and running. Obviously, Justin's in a unique situation. He bought an existing race team, but Chip Ganassi Racing was never relevant yeah. in a championship conversation. They had the best he's driver in the world, and they he's barely won it. multiple races, multiple years. Yeah. So for Justin to come in with his leadership and to do what they're doing it's impressive but as an owner you have to mature and realizing that sending that tweet out was stupid is part of the maturity process I, I, and i'm i think it's cool that he's got a driver I, I agree and on top of that i mean if you look at what he's doing bringing in like international drivers and you're like he has done more like you said than anybody and if he has an opinion on it there's obviously more more than you're not really. Like listen, not I am all for Justin Marks. I'm all for everybody over at Trackhouse. I think what they've done is incredible. And if he really, truly can't wait, and somebody, if Denny goes out there and wrecks Ross in the first round of the playoffs and knocks them out of the playoffs and he don't say a word about it, 
kudos to him because that's what he's setting himself up for here. He's saying yesterday well, everything that Ross did is fine. If, when it comes back to Ross, you better have the same opinion. It's time for you to sell your home and make that big move. Let our friends at OfferPad remove all the worry and hassle. Get started today at OfferPad.com.